Hello, hello, and welcome to the Minecraft Redstone Guide. So this guide is aimed at those who know nothing about redstone and wish to learn how to build some crazy contraptions. So in this guide we're going to start off a little basic and then we're going to get into the nitty gritty advanced stuff later on. So today we're just going to look at the basic things such as inputs and outputs and what redstone is. And yeah, we'll move on to other stuff later on. So some of the stuff you might already know, but let's just get right into it. Okay, so let's start off basic. Uh, down below, at layers around about 0 to 16, I'd say, on your Y coordinate, right there, you can find redstone ore. So this is the material you find. You can use an iron or diamond pick to mine it, as you can see, and redstone dust comes out. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this redstone ore is pretty special. As you can see, if we right-click it, it glows. If we left-click it, it also glows. And even if we put a block on top of it, it glows. And even walking on top of the redstone ore makes it glow. So that's pretty cool. That's something useful. And now I've got a fortune pick and a silk touch pick. Now if we use the silk touch pick, we can actually grab the redstone ore and place it down wherever we, we want. And we can even use the fortune pick to grab a little bit more redstone. But remember, fortune's a little random, so it, you don't know how much redstone you're really going to get. Okay, so now we've got all that redstone stuff, we can go looking into how it works. Now, redstone is made up of three parts, really. It's got your input, your circuit, and your output. So, as you can see, we've got our button as our input. Our circuit is just a little redstone wire that extends out the input. And our output is the door, which we want to activate. So our input is what we want to what happens our circuit just is the events that happen what needs what needs to happen in order for whatever needs to happen here so what we want to do is we want to push a button and we want to open a door we want to push the button over here and then extend it out and then open the door so we can see right here bam Okay, for this e episode, we're just starting off basic, so let's look at the types of inputs, circuits, and outputs. So, we've got here a wooden pressure plate. If we throw something on there on a different type of entity, you can see the redstone line lights up. Standing on the stone pressure plate lights up. The golden weighted pressure plate lights up like so. And the iron heavy weighted pressure plate lights up like so too. It goes for the same with the buttons. Both types of buttons. A lever too. And tripwire. Now, redstone blocks and redstone torches, they can be kind of thought of as inputs because it gives off power, but it's really up to you if you want to include them as an input. And we've got a chest with comparator. We'll go into comparators later on. And as you can see, it gives out an output when there's something in there. We've got the daylight sensor, the detector rail, and trap chest, which activates as soon as you open it. And we've got a block update detector. So there might have been something I missed, so make sure to tell me, and I'll try and put it in the description if you leave it in the comments. Okay, so the circuit part, we've got the redstone dust, the redstone torch, redstone repeater, and redstone comparator. Now comparators are more advanced, so we'll go into those later on in the series, but we are going to be focusing mostly on redstone dust, torches, and repeaters, which we'll probably get into very, very soon. Alright, so now outputs. Now outputs is what is going to happen after you've in put in your input signal such as a button, you push it, and they'll go through your circuit, which will determine whether or not to you know, activate something. You'll go through a series of events to make sure that it can activate something. We'll go into some of that stuff later on, but here we have our dispenser, and we just push our button and it activates. Same with the dropper. Note blocks, sends out a musical note. Sticky pistons, pistons, redstone lamps, they glow. We've got our fence gates, our trap doors, our both types of doors, and we've got a hopper here. Now if we throw an item in there, it gets sucked through. If we flip it on, it won't go through. Pretty cool. We can also use it to switch between tracks, activate the activator rails, and the powered rails, and we can even use it for a command block. And if you can see right there in the chat, it says hi, very faintly. And we can also use 
redstone signal to update blocks, such as this water. If we break a block right here, as you can see, the water flows to the nearest hole. Now, if there's a hole here, that's the exact same distance, we update it, and it flows to the other side, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's craft some of the inputs. So as we can see, we've got our weighted pressure plate, the golden one with two gold ingots. Same goes for the iron, we get the weighted pressure plate, the heavy one. Then we've got the, uh, the this one here, the wooden pressure plate. Then we've got the stone one right there. And we've got the buttons, like so, wooden and stone. And we've got trap chest like this. We've got the daylight sensor, like so. Just three glass, three quartz, and three wooden slabs. And we've got ourselves a tripwire hook. It gives us two. If we put iron ingot stick, wooden plank gives us two. We've got ourselves our lever. And we even have our detector rail. Where we have a pressure plate at the bottom. Redstone there. Whoops. Other way around. There we are. Okay, so now for the circuitry stuff, we've got our raw redstone material that you get from harvesting the redstone ore you found down in the caves. Now with the redstone dust, we can form a redstone torch, putting a stick underneath the redstone dust. There we are. Using the redstone torches and redstone dust, we can put two redstone torches like so, three stone, and a redstone dust in the center. That crafts us a redstone repeater. And we make a pyramid shape with the redstone torches. Three stone like the comparator and a quartz in the center gives us a redstone comparator. Pretty cool. Alrighty, now crafting some of the outputs. Now we've got ourselves the dispenser by putting cobblestone almost like a furnace but missing out the bottom center for a redstone with a bow in the very center. Now droppers are the exact same, just build it again without the bow. And then we've got a note block which you build a chest and you put a redstone in the center and then we've got a solves a sticky piston where we put a piston under a slime ball but to build ourselves a piston we do this first alright three wooden planks on top iron in the center redstone just underneath it and two cobblestone filling in the gaps there now we can build ourselves a redstone lap glowstone in the center and we put in redstone all around it all adjacent to it not in the diagonals though and we have ourselves a fence gate, two wooden planks in the center, forming some sticks, and we get some lower sticks like so, and we just throw them at the side. There we are, fence gate. Now we've got a trap door. We kind of have a, we fill in all of the space in the crafting inventory except for the very top row, or you can do this exact same, but don't fill in the bottom row. Just make sure the center's filled. Gives us two trap doors. Now we do that horizontally like this, well vertically, however you want to do it. And we get ourselves a door, same thing with the iron ingots. And you can even put it on this side too if you really want to. Cool. Okay, so now to build a hopper, we just place ourselves iron ingots like so to form boots. And we just place one in the very bottom center like so, with a chest in the very middle. That's a hopper. Now rails, we just have... Uh, three ingots on both sides with the stick in the very center. There we are, rails. Then we've got powered rails, which is pretty much the same as a normal uh, rail, except we have it as gold, and we have a redstone underneath too. And then we've got the uh, activator rail, which is pretty much the exact same, but but we actually do it like this. There we are, three ingots like the iron, except for redstone torch in the center with the two sticks like so. There we are, activate rails. Okay, so that actually concludes our episode for today. That was some very basic stuff that you probably already knew. Next time we'll go into some of the power and how redstone powers things. So just make sure you know how the in there are inputs to your circuits and then there's your outputs. Just remember that stuff. You don't have to remember how to craft them as much, but it's pretty helpful in survival mode so that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys next time